Well, tonight we have a great lineup of some black musicals. Yeah, and I mean, you're going to hear a lot of great music. You're going to hear artists like Louis, Louis Armstrong, Armstrong, Duke Billie Ellington, Holiday. Billie Holiday, Lena Horne. Ethel Waters. Ethel Waters. I mean, it's just so much great music that we've all heard before, if, even if we haven't seen these movies. Absolutely. And there seems to be a through line of, like, unrequited love, obsession with men over women and vice versa. There's the mammy versus the hot, sexy woman woman. Yeah. There's the hot, sexy man versus the strong Mandingo-ish type buck. And the classic Shakespearean, just tragic love stories. It's, this lineup that we're going to see tonight is just packed It's amazing. Stuff, I'm know. so excited. Jamal Finkley. Carla Renata. It's so nice to be here at Turner Classic Movies discussing musicals with you. I mean, who better to discuss it with? Then somebody that loves musicals. And somebody who's been in musicals on Broadway. There you go. You know, Lion King, Avenue Q, even did a little ditty with Queen. But tonight, we're here talking about Carmen Jones. Such a classic. I love Carmen Jones. It's one of my favorites. When you talk about musicals, just Dorothy Dandridge and Harry Belafonte on film, it's, it's, everybody loves this film. I know Pearl Bailey's in it. Roy, uh, Roy Glenn is in it, who people will recognize from playing Sidney Poitier's daddy and guess who's coming to dinner? Yeah. We got uh, Diane Carroll is in it, way yes. before Julia. Yes, exactly, <laughs> on TV. exactly. So we love her for that. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention that Dorothy Dandridge was the first black woman to be nominated for a Best Leading Actress Oscar. That's right, that's right. She also was nominated for the BAFTA, the British version of the Academy Awards, so to speak. And Otto Preminger and Dorothy Dandridge did team up again three years after Carmen Jones to do Porgy and Bess. Yeah. What I do love about the film is not only that it stars these, this, this great cast, but some of the music, like the, the, the songs in, the, in Carmen Jones are classics. That's love, it's stuff, it's stuff that you just continue to sing along to. And the, the crazy thing about it is that it wasn't, while well, it's was a, a musical starring black uh, talent, most of the music was done by white opera singers, so... Yeah, it was based on a George Bazette opera, and it was originally done as a Broadway production. Right. And they took it, and they took it out of being a Spaniard situation, making it into a World War II situation at a southern base yeah. for uh, the film version with Dorothy and Harry, so right, that was right. really cool. Um, but a little known fact, we... I always thought when I saw snippets of this film over the years that Harry Belafonte was doing his own singing. I knew Dorothy Dandridge wasn't a vocalist, but, well, she was, but not as strong a vocalist to, to take on opera. But come to find out that they did not do their own singing. Right, someone right. someone else did their singing for them. So that was Except a little Except for Pearl known. Bailey. Pearl Bailey was able yeah, to sing, Bailey, yeah. sing in there. And, and you could hear the music in her song being more jazzy and more soulful and more the music that was of the time of mm -hmm. of the era than uh, the opera singing that was coming behind it. But even without the original songs being done by Dorothy, Dorothy and Harry, the music is, is great. The story is great. And it's just an iconic film that I think anybody that's either, either a film buff or just a lover of old classics has to watch. Oh, most this, definitely. Yes. They'll definitely love this film. It's, it's one of the tops in black musicals in cinema. Yeah, and also, I mean, it was, it was groundbreaking in the fact that Dorothy Dandridge played this sensual woman on film where the, the black community, especially at the time, was uh, overwhelmingly conservative. And to have somebody playing this promiscuous, seductive character was a little bit out of character for our community, but it broke ground and allowed other people uh, other movies and to follow up, follow up and play different characters and break out the mode of what was traditionally acceptable in our in our households. Yeah, so let's take a look. I haven't seen Carmen Jones since I was in college, so this will be great. So having said that, let's watch it. Let's do it. <laughs> I know, right? From 1954, produced and directed by Otto Preminger, Carmen Jones. <laughs> Wow, such an amazing film. And another love tragedy. I mean, just, it, it goes back to all the Romeo and Juliet tragedies. Why does everybody have to die? I was particularly moved by that whole tragic ending because it shows how undefinable 
the emotion of love can be. It yeah. can make you lose your mind. It can make you be euphoric, one or the other, but never really both at the same time. Yeah. And Harry Belafonte's character, he just snapped. He just could not see his life without Carmen in it. And he was like, if I can't have her, nobody can. And Carmen was just set to be free. She just could not be she held be in contained. a cage. So she, so she had to do that. But the music again, hearing uh, Death's, Death's Love is just amazing. And hear Pearl Bailey do her original song, Beat Out the Rhythm on a Drum, was great. I mean, there's so many great songs in this in this musical that it's, it's just amazing. Yeah, Bazette's music is always very, very beautiful. And I, I, I love the fact that we're going to watch another film later on called Hallelujah, which stars Nina Mae McKinney. And it's really funny to me that Nina Mae McKinney's costume in Hallelujah is literally the exact same costume that Dorothy Dandridge is wearing in Carmen Jones. I wonder if Otto took a little look at Hallelujah before he started work on mm -hmm. Carmen Jones. You think he, he did? He must have. I mean, that was... <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of the basis of filmmaking when you look at that movie, so I'm sure he had to look at that to, to be the director he was. Absolutely. And, you know, as a woman, I kind of love that scene with Harry Belafonte being topless singing that song. It was kind of cute, and I understand why all the women during the day thought he was a sex symbol and, you know, wanted yeah. to run away with Harry Belafonte. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, this flower is another iconic moment in the, in, the, in the movie. What I remember is seeing that photo of Harry Belafonte blowing uh, Dorothy Dandridge's feet, and to see that scene again was just was just amazing. So to be clear, he was blowing her nail polish, trying to dry her nail polish on her feet. It's connected to her feet. <laughs> <laughs> Of course it is. Well, that was a lot of fun. I love seeing Carmen Jones again. So up next, a terrific musical from 1943 featuring an all-black cast. 